So we have new numbers in that show home prices have hit a new record, and it's a round number record. The way it works is that the median list price for homes around the country in the month of March crossed $300,000 for the first time. First time we had a median price of $300,000. So, brings up some larger questions. One of them is whether now is the time, good or bad, for people who are retired or close to retirement to maybe downsize. From Barron's associate publisher, Jack Otter, joins us on that. And it's always a tough um, question, I guess, Jack, for people timing wise. And uh, we thought we'd ask it with this particular number out there. But what do you say? Sure. Um, let's establish a couple of things first. First of all, um, the housing market is very much a regional story. Mm -hmm. Now, during the, the housing crisis, almost everything but maybe Brooklyn fell in unison. <laughs> that was actually extremely unusual. Normally, it's very much a locale by locale thing. So people should be aware of that number. I'm sure to some people, 300,000 sounds like a very high number. To others, it, right. you can't buy a shack for that, yep. depending on the neighborhood. So that's number one. Uh, number two, and this is maybe the most important point for individuals, do not try to time the housing market. Um, you know, we always say <laughs> yes. don't try to time the stock market. but What's the worst thing that can happen is, right, you know, you hold on to that stock and you hold on a little too long and it goes down. Well, with that even more important, position. right, for someone like a retirement age or retirement time, which is, a, you know, that's a time of your life is changing a lot. If it, it's some personal considerations rather than timing in those in those. And instances, that is right? exactly what should drive your decision is those personal considerations. You're right. Um, in the worst case scenario, you get settled into your new place a little sooner than you might have otherwise, which is probably a good thing. Um, uh, but if if things really turn out badly, of course, you could be stuck with this white elephant. You can't sell it. It's too big for you. Um, I speak from personal experience. Uh, my parents waited a little too long to downsize, and we are now forced sellers of a really nice house if somebody uh, wants to get in touch with me. So if it's um, not timing, that's funny. Well, not funny, but unfortunate, actually, because yeah. a lot of people end up in that situation. If it's not timing of the market or interest rates or what have you, what... Yep considerations, what financial considerations maybe should go into um, to the timing of, of all this? Are there any? Uh, absolutely. So the most important thing is to look at your total financial situation, figure out how much money you you have to live on. Um, and people sometimes look at this the wrong way. In an ideal situation, you shouldn't be thinking, oh, I've got X amount of money. I expect to live for another 20 years. So divide that number by 20 and I should make it. Instead, if you can possibly pull it off, you should think about only taking, say, 4% from your, that, there's something called the 4% rule, mm -hmm. varies according to age. But if you can get away with only taking 4% a year out of your retirement account, then more or less, and granted I'm oversimplifying, you should be able to, um, your money should, should outlast okay. you. Um, right. But another important thing is, is realize that interest rates are, are low right now. Um, mortgage rates have come down to just over 4%. So that also makes this an opportune time. It means you can sell your house for a little more because it looks attractive to buyers. And um, if you're buying a new place with a mortgage, you, you might get a better rate. Ideally, you can, you'll sell the place and then use that cash so so you don't yeah. have a mortgage as a retiree, but not everyone can do that. I like it. So that's two specific things. You have the 4% rule, and then maybe you hope to get that 4% mortgage rate, too, while you're at it. And, <laughs> exactly. Um, Jack, good to see you. Thank you very much. Anytime. Jack Otter uh, from Barron's.